All right, so I came across this video last night, and if there's one thing I can't stand, it's these fake hoax viral videos. Um, they're so fucking annoying. It just pisses me off when people go out of their way to fool other people so they can make money off of tricking people. I mean, it's like, have you no fucking honor? No no dignity, nothing at all. It's just, it's so fucking, it's just so annoying. Okay, so this is San Francisco Broad Daylight Armed Robbery. So I'm flipping through stuff. I'm like, oh, cool. I got to check this out. That's bad as fuck. And uh, this is what this is what I get. Okay. So they're in San Francisco, like on some fucking side street by some apartments. It's not even like a tourist destination here. And these guys in this black car right here with the door open, they're waiting for some, sus some people to rob, I guess. They're just going to sit there and hopefully somebody will walk by with money. I'm just saying, I know what it's like to, um, uh, be on the wrong side of law and that's not what you would do you you don't just sit there like yeah we're just gonna wait for somebody right here yeah in broad daylight that's how we do it yeah we're gonna let run of them get away or then three of us are gonna take on one girl trying to get her bag that makes total sense and now look here comes fucking superman running up to where the fuck did he come from and now look in this green car stop that these are cops where did they come from? Now, I can understand where Superman, uh, she, because the girl ran over that way, she could have yelled. But where did the green car, how did he know that this was going on? And this brown car, this is supposed to be a cop too. Now, look how he pulled him out. The cop had his gun down after he dragged the suspect out. Uh, 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 who just committed armed robbery. And you're going to point your gun down. You're not even going to aim it at him. And you're just going to let him start backing up and get away from your grip. What kind of... What kind of officer training is that? My fucking ass, dude. The video is a fucking uh, crappy attempt at a viral hoax. That's what it is. I mean, one, you would know it's, I mean, not legitimate <laughs> with the fact that um, there's not going to be a report of this, guaranteed, because it's not real. And um, they just end the video. That's because they couldn't pay for some, you know, beat cops or somebody dressed up like cops to come in and actually take the guys away. That's why you don't get to see anyone get arrested or anything. It's fucking ridiculous, dude. It's a, it's a total fucking fake viral hoax video and it sucks at best. And give me a fucking break. So, how do we know it's a fake viral hoax video? Okay, so in the description, it says, For licensing, permission to use contact licensing at jukinmedia.com so who the fuck are these guys so let's go check them out well here they are right here global leader in user generated entertainment hmm, interesting okay this is what they do they make viral videos okay we produce original content for tv the web and emerging platforms including world's funniest on fox now that's funny on channel 5 uk and fail army on tv networks in 221 markets worldwide oh wow yeah cool fucking guys are so stupid as fuck now what's the worst thing about these guys is do you want to know what they really are after i because i read everything already they're um they're partners they're um they're kind of like a social blade okay how they want to partner with you and like and um with a uh, youtube content creators and like promote their videos and shit and then they get money um from youtube too and stuff okay um if you are going to do a uh, youtube and try to make money and shit like that don't fuck with a partner you don't need them and it's funny because these guys are even like basically talking shit about youtube okay so when you like look around and um uh, when you ask about, well, they have a frequent, uh, an FAQ on YouTube and, um, how do you make money? And then they have one on, on their own, like, how do they make money? And it's, just, it's so fucking funny that they basically talk shit about YouTube. Okay. They, they bash YouTube and they're like, oh, YouTube fucking charges, you know, 45% right off the top. It's like, that's it? Okay, they are doing fucking, it's like, it's their fucking channel. They're fucking hosting it. They're the one getting the advertisers and everything. You don't think they should be taking half at least? I do. I, I would think 50% would be fair. It's like, hey, man, you fucking, you make a fucking video. I'll produce it, get the advertisers, get you to check and get you paid. All right, sounds good. Yeah, we can split it 50-50. Deal? All right, deal. You know, so it's like, and they're taking less, 45%. 
<laughs> all right so it's like they're then they're fucking basically talking shit about it. and then they talk about um how do you earn money look at this every video in our library is a, a viral video well you know there's no standard definition of what comes so it's like all they try to do is make these viral videos that's the, that's their whole fucking goal okay and so they're just trying to look for stuff that they can make into viral videos but when it comes to speaking about how youtube monetizes their videos they bring up um cpms okay which are um clicks per thousand and thousand is the roman numeral for uh, you know means a thousand whatever okay so that's why it stands for, that's why they use cpm but um let me tell you something <laughs> cpm is like the least way you make money on youtube okay there's a bunch of other advertising ways to make money on youtube that they just do for you that they just set up for you and on your youtube analytics you can go and look at what's your on uh, what's your cpms what's your regular ad revenue what's your youtube ad revenue and it'll show you how much is that it's like and always on mine the cpm revenue is always one of the fucking lowest you know and it's like um uh they just the advertisers will pick certain videos and certain content for you know their channel that they want like they would on tv you know if they say oh, okay this stuff kind of goes with what i'm doing you know so so that works good like just the other day like i was having um uh what's the fucking independence day um preview on my channel you know which was like wow fucking sweet you know i'm like that's where fucking that's where you know i'll get money from not from fucking the cpm but that's, the, that's all they tell you on here so they're like yeah come partner with us but you have to pay to partner with them all they're doing is taking a chunk of your fucking money <laughs> all right and then they're going around talking shit about youtube like oh yeah fucking youtube sucks and they're all crazy and it's hard to understand like look at the stuff they say here about youtube this is so fucking funny man yeah, but there's a lot of misinformation regarding how much money can be made and how it all works. YouTube monetization model is fairly complicated. No, it's fucking not. It's it's actually pretty easy to understand. All right. So anyone who actually signs up and looks for, and checks it out, it's not hard to understand. Okay. It's I mean you'll they make it easy for you. They have videos and everything. If you don't if you can't just read and understand it, they have videos that'll help you understand it. But it's not hard. That's the, they bring up the one, the cheapest way to make money, okay? That is the cheapest way. You don't make very much money from CPMs. So, it's like, why why would they even mention that? Because they want to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, don't just go to YouTube yourself. Go through us so we can put your shit on YouTube <laughs> and get the money, all right? They're just taking a cut of your fucking money. <laughs> it doesn't, it's... it's fucking it's so sad man and they go and they make shitty ass fucking hoax videos why don't you make a good fucking video then you know i mean try that for once instead of this fucking fake ass fucking bullshit dude i mean i mean, could tell that wasn't real within the first five seconds dude i was like fucking christ these guys aren't even trying anymore man all right just to show you guys an example of what these guys are like and uh, what kind of company they are or whatever this is a company called pave or whatever they um emailed me on uh i've got a couple of different places <laughs> i've done the same thing you know social blade and shit like that and um uh where they try to um hit up youtube creators who uh um who are doing good and try to get them to partner with them you know instead of you just going to them they'll actually come to you so they come to me and they're like hi there we just want to reach out and uh say your youtube channel is awesome fuck you there's no fucking way you guys <laughs> sat and watched my shit all right it's not, not in their fucking life dude and it's all it is is that they're able to um get a hold of channels analytics okay so they probably didn't have a clue what my channel was actually about they just saw my analytics and fucking surprisingly enough i mean i know it's fucking <laughs> it seems crazy but i actually had like awesome analytics you'd be surprised but um i have really really good at analytics on my channel like um uh because it's like important how long um like uh viewers are engaged how long a video gets watched it's not about clicks anymore so you could have you know ten thousand views on a video and it's worth nothing you know or you could have 200 views on a video and it's worth 10 bucks you know it just depends on the video what the content is how long people watch the video for and um pe like people always seem to like watch my entire videos you know so it's uh um 
I, you know, I get a lot of good feedback and I get a lot of thumbs up and everything. And so it's like my channel has really, really good analytics. So it's like all they did was they got a hold of the analytics somehow <laughs> through whoever. And fucking, they're like, oh yeah, we're going to go say, hey, we're going to go give him praise and say, hey, maybe we can talk about, and they're like, based on your responses, I believe we can share some ideas that can help your channel or help grow your channel. Fuck you, dude. No fucking way. I was like, give me a fucking break. These fucking guys, man. I was like, I, before I do anything, I always investigate everything. <laughs> These fucking guys, they're um, G+, their Facebook, their Twitter, their YouTube, their Instagram, and their official website all were sprang up the same day, December 15th, 2015. All on the same day. And it's like, you guys expect me to believe that you have some kind of fucking... Uh, following or something where you could actually promote my videos better than me. What what do you got? You got Facebook, Twitter, fucking so what? So do I. G plus so do I. And I've got fucking more fucking subscribers and followers than you. So it's like what <laughs> what what the fuck, dude? It's like they they just you know they go out and they give praise and they act like they're this big fucking company. They all they want is your fucking money. They'll fucking you know partner with you, which means just give me a cut of your money. You do all the work, and we'll do nothing. And we'll still get a cut of your money, just like fucking Junkin Media or fucking Social Blade or whatever. Fucking oh God, shit just pisses me off so bad. Fucking so people are so fucking dumb. Don't ever fall for this. Any of my subscribers, please, if you're gonna make a fucking YouTube channel and I totally support you, go out and do it and get fucking paid. Don't partner with anybody. You don't need it. Just go with YouTube and you get to keep all the fucking money. All right, all right. UFO proof out. They're so fucking annoying. It just pisses me off when people go out of their way to fool other people so they can make money off of tricking people. I mean, it's like, have you no fucking honor? No no dignity. Nothing at all. It's just, it's so fucking, it's just so annoying. Okay, so this is San Francisco Broad Daylight Armed Robbery. So I'm flipping through stuff. I'm like, oh, cool. I got to check this out. That's bad as fuck. And uh, this is what, this is what I get. Okay, so they're in San Francisco like on some fucking side street by some apartments it's not even like a tourist destination here and these guys in this black car right here with the door open they're waiting for some sus some people to rob i guess they're just gonna sit there and hopefully somebody will walk by with money i'm just saying i know what it's like to and now look in this green car stop that these are cops where did they come from now i can understand where superman uh she because the girl ran over that way she could have yelled but where did the green car? How did he know that this was going on? And this brown car, this is supposed to be a cop too. Now look how he pulled him out. The cop had his gun down after he dragged the suspect out. Um, uh, be on the wrong side of law. And that's not what you would do. You, you don't just sit there like, yeah, we're just going to wait for somebody right here. Yeah, in broad daylight, that's how we do it. Yeah, we're going to let run of them get away. And then three of us are going to take on one girl trying to get her bag. That makes total sense. And now look, here comes fucking Superman running up. Where the fuck did he come from? All right, so I came across this video last night, and if there's one thing I can't stand, it's these fake hoax viral videos. Um, 